I believe the path to complete liberation is paved only with the answer, yes. I believe this because at one point I lived most of my life involuntarily bound by fear, or so it seemed. Out of fear of novelty, I avoided new experiences by allowing myself to say no. I turned down offers for dates, parties, jobs, and most other life experiences that people who were liberated from fear relish and even crave. It took college and the bravery of the people around me to show me once and for all that when I gave myself permission to say no out of fear, I learned nothing. Humans experience the most dramatic physical growth between the times of conception to their fifth birthday. But it is my belief that we experience the greatest emotional growth immediately after turning 18, and that it continues until we one day look back and can call ourselves grown. It is during that period of growth that we have the most to lose by saying no to new experiences. When we say no, we risk forever stunting our emotional and spiritual growth. We leave the nest to learn, to get to know the world around us, so we can figure out where we're going to end up, and when we limit the amount of world we see by being too afraid to open our eyes and see it, we lose that chance to grow, to change, to figure things out. In the world, the world loses a contributing cognitive member. When you say no out of fear, we all lose. Naturally, we all have ethics and moral guidelines that we should maintain, but ethics aren't motivated by fear. Ethics are conscious decisions we make. Fear is something we don't control. Fear owns us. We don't own it. When we let fear make our decisions for us, we let it trap us, and the already powerful force that fear wields becomes even more powerful until it has partitioned us away from the oftentimes terrifying world of new and interesting opportunities and experiences, which is where we lose. But we all have the power to vanquish fear, and all of that power lies in just one word. All we ever have to say is yes.